Ever wonder about that amazing canal that crosses most of Arizona? Of course you have. You probably know it's called the Central Arizona Project. But if you stick around for three minutes, you'll learn a lot more about this amazing feat of engineering. This is AZ in 3. <laughs> In 1968, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Colorado River Basin Project Act, which had been moved through the Senate by the efforts of Arizona Senator Carl Hayden. The act provided $4 billion in federal money to build a system to move Arizona's share of the Colorado River water across the state to be used as drinking water and irrigation for crops. Designed by the U.S. Reclamation Service, the building of the Central Arizona Project, or CAP, began at Lake Havasu on the Colorado River. The Mark Wilmer pumping station was built to lift water 824 feet above the river to provide enough elevation so gravity could start its journey across the state. For the most part, the water moves through an open canal, 80 feet wide at the top, 24 feet wide at the bottom, and about 16 and a half feet deep. After passing through three more pumping stations, the Colorado River water is deposited into a reservoir at Lake Pleasant. The new Waddle Dam that holds back the lake was built as part of the CAP project. The eight pumping stations along the way lift the water nearly 3,000 feet in elevation along the full route to harness the power of gravity which moves the water across the state. From the reservoir, the canal continues on through the Phoenix area until it reaches the Salt River, having traveled 190 miles from Lake Havasu. Here the water is channeled right underneath the Salt River in one of the eight inverted siphons that take the water underground and beneath obstacles in its path. Here at the Salt River is also the Granite Reef Diversion Dam. The CAP canal connects to the Salt River Project Canals, allowing for CAP to deliver water directly into their systems. That's for the whole Phoenix metro area as needed. From the Salt River, the canal continues along for 58 miles to the Gila River. Here, it once again siphons underground, then continues the final stretch 87 more miles toward Tucson. Running a total of 336 miles, it takes three to four days for water leaving Lake Havasu to reach Tucson. The entire system is operated remotely from a control room in the Phoenix area. Pretty cool, huh? This historic system delivers 1.6 million acre feet of water to Arizona each year, allowing Arizona to grow and prosper into the 21st century. Learn more in the links below. This has been AZ in 3.